If you are in a project-based shop like ours, we occasionally need to make metal repairs and do a little light fabrication, and having versatile tools on hand is a must. What we did for this video is we partnered with Lincoln Electric to try out their Weldpak 180i MPDV, which lets you work with different materials that require different welding processes all in one compact unit. If you are a project guy like me, you probably want a flexible welder for various jobs. You might have parts to repair on a trailer, or you might need to fabricate a new support bracket. Maybe you just want to make some metal shelves. Rather than going to someone else, a welder like the 180i MP lets you tackle it yourself. A little while ago, I picked up an older Porsche 911. It's a great car, but there's always room for improvement, and one of those areas is that it's kind of quiet. After doing some research, I discovered that I can spend a small fortune on a new exhaust system, or I can do what's known as the Gundo Hack, which essentially turns the factory exhaust into something similar to the factory sport exhaust. What this little project entails is cutting and welding a two inch diameter 304L stainless steel bypass pipe. The results are supposed to deliver a more throaty exhaust note, and of course, in a limited amount of horsepower according to my butt dyno. The first thing I noticed about the Lincoln welder is how compact it is. You can carry it around with one hand thanks to the top mounted handle, and it only weighs about 35 pounds. This welder is extremely simple to set up. Weld mode push button and two knobs to set voltage, amps, and wire feed speed. While very simple to set up, there's some behind the scenes technology that automatically adjusts settings depending on what welding process you choose. One of my favorite things is the quick startup guide that comes with the machine that helps you get each welding process set up quickly. First, select your weld mode with a push button until the correct process is illuminated. Next, adjust your voltage amperage dial to match your process and material using the procedure chart inside the case door. This procedure setup chart on the inside of the lid gives you quick reference baseline settings for all the different welding processes that the welder can do, along with material types and thicknesses. If you're wire welding, now is the time to adjust the wire feed speed. The only time this dial functions is if you're doing a wire feed welding operation. At the bottom of the front panel are your connection points. Depending on the process, you can adjust your work clamp and electrode connections for positive or negative. You find the main on-off switch on the back side along with the gas input connection. The welder comes with a 230 volt AC power plug, but as the DV in the name implies, it's dual voltage and can be powered by 230 volts AC or 120 volts AC. Now that you've seen the welder, here are the accessories that make it all possible. The Magnum 100L gun and 10 foot cable assembly. Three different welding contact tips in 25, 30, and 35 thousandths. Gasless nozzle for flux core wire welding. Gas nozzle for MIG welding. Depending on what size spool you're running, an eight inch diameter spindle adapter is also included. A Harris regulator and gauge set with a 52 inch hose to connect to your welder. A work clamp with a 10 foot cable. A stick welding electro holder with a 10 foot cable. And if you're planning on doing any TIG welding, what you're gonna to wanna to pick up separately is the Lincoln K1782-16 TIG welding torch along with the K4361-1 foot pedal. For my Porsche exhaust project, I was planning on welding thin wall stainless steel. So I went with the TIG welding setup. Configuring the 180i MP was simple because of the handy chart inside of the side access cover. It shows exactly what you have to do to get set up for that process. I installed the foot pedal and the TIG torch and made sure to put the ground in the appropriate sockets so the polarity was set correctly. I picked up some 16th inch ER308L stainless steel filler rod, some 16th inch 2% uh, throw rated tungsten electrodes, and a 60 pound tank of argon shielding gas. Before I began to weld on my Porsche mufflers, I did some tests on flat 304L stainless steel sheets to get a feel for the welder and to dial in the amperage and gas settings. The critical step here, as with all welding, is the preparation. You want close fitting pieces, so make sure everything is deburred, ensure that you're going to weld as exposed to the base metal and wipe down all surfaces with acetone to remove any contaminants. Any welding process is an art that takes practice, time, and a great deal of effort to get good results. TIG welding in particular is extra tricky to master in that you have to modulate the foot pedal, watch your electro distance, feed the filler material, and dial in the amperage and gas. There's a lot of moving parts and it can be frustrating until you get the feel of it. Even though I hadn't TIG welded in a long time, the Lincoln 180i MP was a breeze to get set up and dialed in. Since this is a multi-process welder, it's able to stick weld, MIG weld, and 
flux core wire weld right out of the box. Setting up for stick welding is the simplest of all the welding processes. Using the selector button on the front panel, I selected stick and then put the material clamp lead in the negative terminal and the electrode into the positive terminal. Using the quick reference guide, I set the amperage to an initial setting to get me started. I needed to weld some miles to it for a bracket. We were using one of our testing rigs. Touching off was easy, but I did have to give it a little more amperage to get the weld to lay out the way I wanted it to. This welder can handle 25 to 160 amps and up to 3 16ths of an inch thick material. I didn't have any flux core wire handy, so the last process I tested was MIG welding. Just like other processes, I used a quick start guide to get me started in the right direction. I installed the MIG gun and loaded a spool of wire. I loaded up a tank of shielding gas and set the initial amperage and wire speed for the eighth inch steel I was going to weld. In MIG mode, this welder can go up to 165 amps at 22 volts with a 30% duty cycle and handle up to 5 16 inch thick materials. The Weldpack 180i MPDV really is a great solution for quick repair work, light fabrication, and definitely any application where portability is a priority. Now you might be wondering what happened to my Porsche exhaust project that I started with. Well, I reinstalled the modified mufflers and I got that deeper tone that I was looking for. The jury's still out on whether it really did much in the horsepower department though. This Lincoln Electric welder comes with a three-year warranty, is available online and at many different retailers for around $1,100. If you're planning on doing any TIG welding, make sure to also pick up the TIG torch and the foot pedal. Lincoln does offer the complete accessories package which includes the TIG torch and foot pedal for around $1,300 and it's known as model K5387-5. So I have to know, do you use a multi-purpose welder? If so, what model do you use and why? Drop us a comment below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.